Lean, finely textured beef doesn't have a whole lot of fans these days. It's been in all this stuff and nobody even knew about it. That's what was, you know, kind of scary. Like, what else is, what else are they putting in our food? Made of meat excess like muscles and tendons, so-called pink slime is heated to remove the fat and then treated with ammonium hydroxide gas to kill bacteria. It grosses me out the way they say what it is, but then I'm back to being a vegan, so <laughs> it all kind of grosses me out. Now the USDA says several producers of the lean, finely textured beef, or LFTB, want to put the product on packaging labels. Consumers say it's about time. You could say it's a good thing. I mean, now I know what to look for and what not to get. But the USDA won't require companies to put the LFTB label on their products. It's completely voluntary. That's kind of like maybe just trying to pat us all and say it's okay, don't worry. <laughs> According to an MSNBC.com poll, 84% of the more than 15,000 people who voted said they wouldn't buy a product containing LFTB. Karen Gordon agrees. And it's kind of sad, so for the people that actually go and put it on the label, you're not going to buy theirs. Well, Gordon thinks voluntary labeling is far from perfect. Some people think the entire pink slime controversy is overblown. I still eat at fast food restaurants and it, um, it's cooked. It doesn't matter. It's, I think it's good that they're using all of the cow. In Medford, Craig Smullen, NBC5 News.